If you build it, they will come. Okay, when you make a website, you probably won't get a bunch of dead baseball players popping out of a cornfield, but if you build your website, traffic will come if you do it the right way. So in this video, I'm gonna share what nobody is willing to share. I'm gonna share with you our exact Google Analytics for one of our passive income websites, dirtbikeplanet.com. We're gonna look at the last 30 articles that I've written that have had time to rank, just the most recent 30, and we're gonna see how well they ranked. They rank number one or number 15, and why, which is the most important thing. So first, let's head back to the office and look through the numbers. All right, we're back and I've taken a little bit of time to check the data. I will admit I was a little bit nervous to see this, to see how those 30 articles that I wrote performed. But when I saw the results, I mean, it was jaw dropping. So here they are. So here are just a few of the examples. Uh, is dirt bike riding dangerous? For that key phrase, I owned the search result, which means I got position zero, the snippet, and position one. Uh, really cool when you can own a result. Uh, best dirt bike for an eight-year-old, position number one. Best 50cc dirt bike, position number one. What is the best trailer size for dirt bikes, position number one. Yamaha TTR50 review, position number one. Tips for new dirt bike riders, position number three. What is a dirt bike spark arrester, position number one, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I can list them all here if you wanna check them out. Um, so first of all, I was really excited to see that, but let's look at the global numbers. Of those 30 articles, 73% of them I ranked number one on Google. 12% of them I ranked number two, and 15% of them I ranked number three. There weren't any where I ranked four or worse. So first of all, super exciting, right? But then I also looked at how many of those did I own? And again, by owning, I mean you get position zero and position number one. 18% of those 30 articles, I owned the search result. I got the snippet and position number one. That's absolutely amazing. I mean, something clearly happened right there to get 73% of the articles in position one and 18% of them owned. But that's not very helpful to you. I mean, yay, I got art, my article to rank on Google. What's helpful to you is if you learn how I did that and more importantly, what about those articles where I ranked number three? What about those articles? What did I not do there that I should have done to rank better? So those are questions that I want to answer in this video. But before we do that, we've got to kind of talk about the, the way to argue against what I've just said, which is this. I mean, you can rank number one on Google for anything, the question is, is it actually gonna Google bring traffic to your website? I mean, you can rank on Google for what brand dirt bike does Dwight Schrute ride, um, and it's just not gonna bring any traffic. You could probably rank for it in a couple days. Actually, actually, that's kind of a cool experiment. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go write an article on what brand dirt bike does Dwight Schrute ride, and I'm gonna publish it on the website, and I'm just curious how long it's gonna to take to rank. All right, I have written my post. It is 490 words of completely fictional garbage about what dirt bike Dwight Schrute rode in the office, and I am about to press publish. This is the greatest moment of my life. It only took me three hours and 46 minutes to rank on Google number one for what brand dirt bike does Dwight Schrute ride? Yippee! Interesting, you can rank for, for, for tiny little search terms really quickly. But also I checked on an article that I wrote just a few days ago, Youth UTV Buyer's Guide. And that article is ranking number four on Google in less than a week. And I've got to think if hopefully that gets to number one, that's going to bring in a few thousand people a month to the website. So it's really cool when you're on an established website, how much more quickly you can rank things. 
Um, but in the beginning with your first website, it's gonna take a lot longer. You gotta check out this video we did about how long it takes to get traffic from Google on a brand new website. But these 30 articles then, how much traffic did they bring into the website? I was shocked when I looked at the numbers just from writing those 30 blog posts. I mean, that does not take that long to do. That brought in 50,000 page views about um, from Google in the last 30 days. 50,000 page views from just 30 articles. That's really, really good to see. Um, usually our target is 1,000 page views for every article we write. Sometimes we don't quite get there, sometimes we overperform it, but that's kind of our baseline of what we like to see. And so this is definitely an overperform in, in terms of traffic from those articles. All right, so we've shown that we can write these articles for valuable keywords, you know, it's bringing in traffic and income. This website's bringing in a really good income um, every single month of several thousand dollars. But then the next question is, how do we do it? What was the secret sauce? And there really are a lot of things doing it. I mean, I've been working at this for 10 years, just answering that question of how we can do it. So, but let's look at those articles where I ranked number three and see what I missed. Why did I rank number three and not number one? And I have to remove all pride from this. And you can't just say, oh, Google got it wrong. My article was bad. That's not helpful. You gotta look at it totally, just honest, look at this. Why didn't Google think my article was better? Uh, I would say there were three things that I didn't do well. Number one, in most of the cases where I ranked number three, my article was just a little bit shorter than the other articles. Now, length isn't everything. Uh, it's more about the tips, the research, the information that you provide in your article. But if you have enough meat and good information to fill 2,500 words, and all the other articles are 1,500 words, there's a good chance you rank higher than them because user experience is the key to Google's rank brain algorithm. It's user experience. It's did they come to your page and immediately bounce off because they didn't find what they were looking for? Did they come to your page, spend five minutes and then click other links to other pages in your website? That's probably a good experience for them. So Google says, you did a good job. You deserve a higher place in the, in the search rankings. So the length of the content was one that I did mess up on some of those number three articles. Another thing that I think I didn't do well on some of those articles is they were kind of just half finished or rushed. Uh, at that time, Ricky and I were kind of challenging each other to write an article a day um, for a hundred days. And so we were just kind of rushing and some of them like, for example, were like 11 tips and actually I had only written nine, but it was titled 11 tips and I just, I must have been rushed and just kind of pressed it and it just, I didn't do a very good job. It was just kind of a cruddy article. And then number three, um, I usually like to take my own pictures for blog posts as much as possible. Uh, I want them to look like it's me, it's the real me. I'm actually riding this dirt bike that I'm reviewing. It's not just a stock photo, you know, uh, just to show that it's a very authentic thing. Um, I don't want the pictures to look cruddy, but I do want them to look authentic. Sometimes we'll use stock photos too, um, but on some of them, you know, I hadn't really gone out to take pictures and I didn't want to take the time to get a stock photo, so I just kind of chucked whatever in there. And some of the blog posts that ranked number three, just they weren't well formatted and pretty looking. And I think that does impact the user experience and consequently your search results. On August 29, 2018, Ricky and I are doing a webinar that I think is pretty important and will be really valuable for you if you have any interest at all in creating passive income websites. So Google has published a 200 page document that they give their quality checkers uh, when they're rating your website as they go around and rate these websites and, and give them a manual score. Um, they've published the document so we can know exactly what Google is looking for on our page. Um, like they cracked the Google code for us, right? Um, and so we've read through it, we're studying it, we're putting it together in a webinar so you can have all the information you need without reading 200 of the most boring pages you've ever read in your life. That's on August 29, 2018 at noon Mountain Standard Time, that's 2 p.m. Eastern and 11 a.m. Pacific. 
or you could just go to incomeschool.com slash webinar. That's where you'll register and we'll just send you a couple reminder emails so you'll know what time it's starting and stuff. Incomeschool.com slash webinar.